Now, COVID-19 restrictions in Indonesia's capital have been extended, but authorities are now moving into what they're calling a transition period. Jakarta Governor Anis Baswedan says restrictions on movement will be eased in phases. Chani Vadvani explains. Large-scale social restrictions in Jakarta now extended and evolving into a transition period. Jakarta Governor Anis Baswedan saying that there will be an easing on the movement restrictions, but in phases, with the month of June being phase one. Now, while data show that the situation in Jakarta is improving with regards to the COVID-19 pandemic, there are still 66 community units in the red zone, so the easing in the movement restrictions will apply to other community units except those 66 whose movements according to the governor will still be monitored strictly and whose residents must stay home now the easing will only take place for activities that have significant benefits for the community and controlled effects of risk additionally only healthy citizens can begin conducting activities outside their homes but they must still follow COVID-19 health protocols that means that everyone must still wear masks wash their hands often and maintain a distance of at least one meter with people. Now, all activities in any locations can only be conducted with a 50% capacity. All public transport and train and bus stations must also operate on 50% capacity and in line with COVID-19 health protocols. Aside from 11 essential sectors that have already been operating so far, June 5th, will mark the opening of additional activities and sectors provided they all follow COVID-19 health protocols. Places of worship will be allowed to open on, on 5th of June, but doors will have to open an hour before worship time and the places must close an hour after. They must also follow COVID-19 health protocols. In mosques, for example, no carpets are allowed. The area must be sanitized with disinfectant before and after activity. The Muslim community must also bring their own prayer mats, keep their belongings with them, and maintain a one meter distance between other people. Sociocultural activities and outdoor sports can also resume with COVID-19 health protocols in place. Offices can begin reopening on Monday, 8th of June. Once again, offices must operate at 50% capacity and staff must come in different batches or groups. All standalone retail shops or shops that are not part of an establishment can also open on Monday, along with museums, galleries and beaches. On 15th of June, shopping malls and non-food markets can open, but all of them must maintain COVID-19 health protocols. Shops and malls must also follow an odd-even system of opening. Finally, in the last week of June, that's the week of June 20th and 21st, indoor and outdoor recreation parks can open while implementing all the same COVID-19 health protocols. Now, all of these locations must only operate on 50% capacity with people maintaining one meter distance between each other, among other health protocols. An evaluation will be conducted at the end of June to go to the next phase. And if there is a spike in cases or any cause of concern, the government, the, the Jakarta the governor rather said that authorities will stop or put the brakes on all of this easing. Additionally, all the sanctions that have been uh, put in place and enforced uh, this entire time for those who are violating these rules, uh, pe people currently will continue to see those sanctions applied as well.